Welcome to the Bentec Assembly Holes Creation Guide. Currently available for Dragon users only, this guide will show you how to create holes along the exterior of your tubing so that they are applied as a cutout when sending your part to the Dragon machine. Starting in the CAD side of the software, we'll open up an assembly, maximize the screen, and start with selecting a 2x2 two two square tube material. First, we'll make a few pick points to use as the ends of our tubing. Then I'll select the straight button to draw our test parts. Drawing square tubes will always require you to enter a rotation amount to determine the rotation of your tubing. A rotation of 180 will flip the tube upside down with the top facing the floor, whereas a rotation of 0 will leave the top facing the ceiling. With the two intersecting square tubes drawn, we can head to the cutting tab to access the whole creation functions. Start by selecting the auto miter option first, then select the two tubes where they intersect to apply the miter. Then, switching to the Holes sub-tab, there are many different options available for hole creation methods. The Hole Shape section will allow you to determine the shape of the hole that will be created. Then there are options to create a perpendicular plunge and to create the hole on opposite sides of the tubing as well. The creation methods range from Free Select, which will place a hole where you click on the part, Pick points, which allows you to designate the hole location by user created pick points, values, which allow you to enter the hole distance and rotation values, and cross tube, which creates the hole based on the intersecting tube. Hole dimensions will always need to be entered before applying a hole. I've chosen to use the values option for the sake of this video, so along with that, I'll need to choose a distance from the start of tube, a width for the hole, and a rotational value. Once I've done that, I can select the Create Hole button from above, select the tube, and then click the Apply Hole button to finish. Now, to add another hole on the same side, we can simply change the distance amount, select the Create Hole button once more, then click on our tube, and finish with the Apply Hole button. If you find that your hole isn't where you want it, you can always select the Delete Hole button, then click on the hole to remove it and try again. Once you're satisfied with your hole placement, you're free to select it from the Parts tab, then click on the Transfer button from above and transfer the design to your Dragon Cam software. Here, you will be able to edit lead locations, part ID markings, and much more before sending it to a nesting project and ultimately to the Dragon machine to be cut out. In the nesting window, you will simply enter the length of your stock tube and apply it. Add your part to the stock length in the Parts tab. Check your tube placement, order of actions, and tool paths in the Shifts tab, and transfer the job to the machine when you're satisfied. Thank you for watching our Assembly Hole Creation Guide. If you have any more questions or comments, please give us a call at our office or email us at support at ben-tech.com.